now that uh, we've set up inputs, outputs, we, we are ready to record. Um, let me switch from the prereq menu into the record menu. The screen is uh, turning uh, pink, letting us know that, that we're recording. Uh, we also can see uh, information on the uh, media, uh, the uh, actual uh, uh, bandwidth of the media actually I'm using with the number of tracks I'm, I have, three tracks, I'm, I'm using 11% of the, the SSD uh, bandwidth. Um, as you can see, if I'm uh, going, stopping the record, uh, to pre-rec, I'm now ready to, to, to record take two. It automatically updates from take one to take two. Switching back. I'm now in take two. I have uh, the duration of the take. It's actually seven, eight seconds. Uh, getting into record, I can set up the counter to send a, a small beep into my headphone and a double beep when I, when I stop recording. It's very helpful for, for example, my boom operator. Time code information, battery information is, is display. I have also on top of the track my EQ's information, my phase information. Um, from that screen, I can also play with the, uh, with the mixer and sending track four, for example, into into track two. Now that uh, you know how to how to record and uh, that you've set up your inputs, your outputs, we can uh, go into other menu and have a look at the at the at the playback. Actually, playback menu, more in depth technical menu, um, and uh, all, another menu such as like time code and audio menu, where you're going to be able to set up all of uh, your different parameters such as. Uh, sampling rate, time code information, where the time code is coming from, where is it going.